Hello doctors. Today's topic is about beta lactam antibiotics. Beta lactam antibiotics are broadly classified into penicillins and cephalosporins. The newer additions are monobactams and carbapenems which are added to beta lactam antibiotic groups. Let's see the mechanism of action of beta lactam antibiotics. The main mechanism is inhibition of peptidoglycans. Peptidoglycans are a constituent of the cell wall of bacteria. Now let's see how beta lactam antibiotics inhibit peptidoglycans. Bacteria have a cell constituent with cell wall, cell membrane and everything. Between the cell wall and the cell membrane there is a layer called as periplasm. This periplasm holds up the layer of peptidoglycans and forms a cell wall which is effective for the bacteria to survive. Peptidoglycans have a constituent of NAM and NAG which means N acetyl muramic acid and N acetyl glucosamine with four amino acid chains in it. Now this block of peptidoglycan joins similarly with other blocks of peptidoglycans so that it forms a strong cell wall. It is bonded to each other by the help of the enzyme transpeptidase. Now what beta lactam antibiotics does is they combine with transpeptidase enzyme and it prevents the bonding between peptidoglycans and destroys the transpeptidase bond and thus inhibits the action of peptidoglycans to form a stronger cell wall. Due to high internal pressure, the bacterial cell wall ruptures and the bactericidal action is being provided by the beta lactam antibiotics. Example of penicillin to be used on the clinic is amoxicillin. And an example of cephalosporin to be used is cefixin. An example of beta lactamase inhibitors. It is clavulonic acid. which is often mixed with amoxicillin and is used in the trade name called as augmentin. The mechanism of action of beta lactam antibiotics is inhibition of peptidoglycans. Please do remember that course and that's all for today. Thanks.